In the past few weeks, I made a few improvements to the tank. Installed a few working lights here, 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 and here. I added a door to the rear hatch, designed and printed a new set of pedals with proper back to center mechanism, adjustable tension to get the feel just right. and double potentiometers so it doesn't run away from me. Swapped the rear traction sprockets for smaller ones to get more torque. Did a lot of boring wiring, a lot. And I even properly wired the cutoff switches so I can kill the batteries while I'm riding the tank. <laughs> Very important. And finally, I installed a console that will allow me to control the turret while I'm driving the tank. But the tank is getting old, it's almost three years old. After the last drifting tests in the shop, I noticed that the tank was way lower in the back than usual. And after taking a look, I noticed that the rear suspension sets were broken. So I designed a beefier version of them and printed them in my big printer, which has a 1.2 mm nozzle and makes super strong prints. To swap them, I had to leave the tank, which went super smooth. But all of that is done, the tank is finished, and there is only one thing left to do with a tank that is finished. Testing it. Now that we are just about to break it without remedy, let me explain you the new control box that I installed and you haven't seen yet. There are five lights and the one on the right indicates that there is power coming from the batteries, meaning that this safety switching here is engaged. Next there is the key. Without this, the tank doesn't work, you just have to insert it or turn it like a regular key. And this light comes on, meaning that you can now drive the tank with your feet. Next is these two switches in here, which change the speed at which the motors move. The one on the left controls the two lower speeds, which are meant for control, like getting it in and out of the van. And the one on the right is just meant to break the tank, because it goes too fast and well, <laughs> everything breaks. And the next two switches are the low power lights and the high power beams. Next, there is this joystick in here that can move the turret sideways and up and down and there is a button on the back that switches on that huge bin on top so you can see what you are shooting at because you need to see and imagine that you are just about to pack the tank and the cannon is not center there is a button in here that if you press it and try to move it to the center it self-centers. Next is this big red switch in here that just enables this button in here to shoot balls. And well, there is a safety stop button in here just in case it starts running from you and you want to stop it. And now that I've explained to you how to steal my tank, a quick ad from today's video sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay offers affordable and high quality CNC machining, 3D printing and PCB assembly services with fast turnaround time. PCBWay is the one-stop solution for all your project needs as they offer all kinds of services 3D printing, CNC machining, injection molding, sheet metal fabrication Their CNC machining service in particular has pretty advanced customability with plenty of materials to choose from and specifications to fine-tune your product to exactly match your design 
They are also currently offering 10% of some of their 3D printing and CNC machining services and 5% of purchases for new customers. For more information, check the link in the description. And now let's give the finished tank a proper test. The, the ES is uh, stopped working and it doesn't have brakes. Well, it, it has me. It's getting uh, a little bit dark. But I think we, we need to get the toolbox. That's nothing but a scratch. Sperling, it's not as fast as Formula One, but it, it does the job. I'm gonna try to find something less aggressive for the threads, and I will try to do it not breaking the tank. So check this out. That sound can only mean one thing. I think the test is over because too much stuff broke on the tank. I think we went too much of road <laughs> for this test. So let's go back to the shop and see what broke.
it was close. Something went really wrong and I, I don't know how to go slow. I need to make the tank stronger. Check it, check it. Now, oh yeah, my friend, the cameraman is telling me to check what happened. We've lost Tom. I, I was trying to guess why we weren't getting any traction on that side. I think I think that we will have to push it to the see you at the shop. It rolls. It's not finished anymore, but it rolls. Raise your hand if you think that I should be like rain. Let's list everything that is broken. Front right suspension set, spring, front plates and wheel broken. Front left suspension set, the same. Both plates, spring and wheel broken. Middle left suspension set, front plate broken, probably the other one in the other side too. It seems that the rear suspension sets are fine and those are the ones that I reprinted and changed before the test. And by the way, I think that I know the exact moment where those broke. We have also a big hit in the front of the tank. That's the middle right suspension set that seems to be about to give up, but it didn't. There is also a stick in there. All the idlers seem to be just fine. Although I would say that these ones in here are a little bit loose. And there aren't many scratch marks on the bottom of the tank, so I would say that we are good in ground clearance. And also the threads are pretty much destroyed. Most of what broke on the tank was on the drivetrain. And I think I know how to fix it because the new suspension sets held up perfectly. And those were holding most of the weight of the tank. So I will fix it and do a new test. So now please go and make something! Yeah.